This is my Bible. This is my bicycle. This is a Bible and a bicycle. Shalom, shalom, Mahavarim. Greetings, my friends. My name is Will, and Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, is my Lord and Savior, my one and only King. Welcome to Bible on a Bicycle. In this here little video, I'd like to talk about my Bible. Well, at least one of them. This here Bible is my go-to casual read Bible. You know, when I just want to absorb into the word and read it for the the narrative into the storyline of it you know i have no particular favorite translation of the bible i like the king james version for its poetic literary style i like the sv for a good study bible and as you might recall from previous video my travel bible is a little slimline esv pocket edition and uh, it's my favorite Bible. I like it. It's really good. I, I bought it off eBay used. Got a good price on it. It's excellent condition. It's a nice little Bible. If you're interested in seeing that video, you can check it out up there. But one of the complaints I had about that little slimline edition Bible is that the print was really, really small. It's really hard on my eyes, me being an older guy and all. But I don't have that problem with this here Bible. It's a larger print. 2015 revised edition of the New International Version of the Holy Bible. I like the NIV, the New International Version. You know, it's an easy read. It's a great translation for anybody that's new to the Holy Scriptures, a new believer, and would like to, you know, read it for the narrative storyline. I think the NIV is a, a much easier read than some of the other literal translations. I got this particular Bible secondhand, as I do with most of my Bibles. So I think this, I got this particular one at uh, the Goodwill here locally. But I really like it. It's easy to read for my old eyes. Got much larger print. It's in really good condition. The spine's not busted or anything. Some tears, a little bit of wear and tear from you know general reading, but I put a lot of that on there. I think it was in a lot better condition when I got a hold of it. It's paperback. It's just a good, nice little go-to Bible. So without any further ado, let's have a closer look at the history and the making of the New International Version translation of the Holy Bible. The New International Version Holy Bible, larger print, is a balance between word for word and thought for thought, or literal and phrase by phrase translations Bible, with added features in a readable 9.8 point type size. Features included are a full text of the accurate, readable, and clear New International Version, book invitations that help explain the context for each book of the Bible, the drama of the Bible in six acts helps you to see how the Bible comes together to tell God's story and his plan to set the world right again. Selection of Old Testament and New Testament maps, a feature that I like a lot. It's a double column format, an extended table of contents that helps put the books of the Bible in their historical groupings, visual chronology that helps see God's unfolding story. All this in a readable 9.8 point type size. The New International Version, the NIV, was first published in 1978 by Biblica, formerly the International Bible Society. The NIV began in 1956 with the formation of a small committee to study the value of producing a translation in the common language of the American people. The core translation group consisted of 15 biblical scholars using Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek texts whose goal was to produce a more modern English language text than the King James Version. The translation took 10 years and involved a team of over 100 scholars from the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa. The range of those participating included many different denominations, such as Angelicans, Assemblies of God, Baptists, Christian Reformed, Lutheran, and Presbyterian. 
The team worked from the oldest copies of reliable text, variously written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Each section was subjected to multiple translations and revisions, and those assessed in detail to produce the best option. Everyday Bible readers were used to provide feedback on ease of understanding and comprehensibility. Finally, plans were made to continue revisions of the Bible as new discoveries were made and as changes in the use of the English language occurred. The New Testament was released in 1973 and the Full Bible in 1978. A further edition with minor edits was published in 1999. In 2011, an updated version of the NIV was released. The update modified and dropped some of the gender neutral language of the TNIV, such as going back to using mankind and man instead of human beings and people, along with other changes. In 2009, the New Testament scholar, N.T. Wright, wrote that the NIV obscured what Paul the Apostle was saying making sure that Paul's words conformed to Protestant and evangelical tradition. He claims, if a church only or mainly relies on the NIV, it will quite simply never understand what Paul was talking about, especially in Galatians and Romans. In support of this claim, Wright mentions specifically several verses of Romans 3, which he suggests do not convey how righteousness refers to the covenant faithfulness of God or reflect his own thinking about the, the Pistis Christu debate. All editions of the NIV have given God's faithfulness as the heading for Romans 3, 1 through 8. Wright's specific objections concerning verses later in the chapter no longer apply to the 2011 revision of the NIV, which moreover offers the faithfulness of Jesus Christ as an alternative translation to faith in Jesus Christ in Romans 3.22. So that's the larger print, New International Version translation of the Holy Bible. I find it to be a very good, useful Bible, especially if you're older like me, get that larger print. Highly recommend it. There'll be links below to where you can purchase it online. But like I said, keep your eye out at the local thrift store, get yourself a bargain. The Word of God should be free. Thank you for joining me. If this video has been a blessing to you or you found it useful, you know the routine, folks. Hit that little like button, subscribe, bing, 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 ring that bell. Tell your friends, tell your family. If you got any suggestions of a translation of the Bible that you'd like to see, comment down below. If I got it on my shelf, and I got a lot of them, folks, I'll have a look at it. In the meantime, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Now get off of here. Go ride your bike and read your Bible.